Would you um, cuddle the animal and eat the apple? Or would you cuddle the apple and eat the animal? I thought you eat the apple. You eat the apple? Yeah. 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 It's tough, right? Yeah. Sad, isn't it, right? So this is a uh, gas chamber. This is what we've made here. They put pigs into gas chambers. Over 88 percent of pigs are gassed in this way. Oh, I don't want it really upsetting him too much, but you know that's you, what happens. Are you guys vegan? No, no. Okay, because it's interesting, right? Because like when children see this, it up upsets them. And I think it's because children's moral compass hasn't been too conditioned at this point. So like. If you were to put a child in a room with a chicken and an apple, without any conditioning, I would say that the child would pet the chicken and eat the apple. Would you agree? I don't know. Would you? Would you reckon, mate? Would you um, cuddle the animal and eat the apple? Or would you cuddle the apple and eat the animal? I thought you eat the apple. You eat the apple? Yeah. Yeah, see, like, people don't like their children seeing it, but they feed them children this, like, this exact industry and, and, and products from these industries. I think if we didn't condition the compassion out of children, we'd have a kind of world. What do you think? I think you raise a very good point. Yeah. What about yourself? I think seeing it like this, yeah. you don't obviously see it in the supermarket like this. You're 100% you? right. Yeah. You see, you see. It's making me actually feel quite emotional. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm pleased because <laughs> if it didn't make you feel emotional, it means you're lacking empathy. And if you lack empathy, that's quite yeah. worrying, right? But the thing is, we are so conditioned that this doesn't happen and we're conditioned for that end product. We pay for this, or you pay for this, yeah. daily. How does it make you feel knowing that you contribute towards these industries? Very upsetting. I, I think slightly disappointed in myself, really. Don't feel, uh, well, look, like, we're not coming from a place of judgment because all of us have been stood where you are right now. But all of us here have seen this yeah. and then make a change. Yeah. Have you ever heard of being vegan or no veganism? I think it's something I will certainly go away and, you know. What's think your thoughts about. on it? Like, what would stop you from being vegan? I think I've tried like substitutes in the past, and I, I guess it's the taste that okay. sometimes isn't, you know, I think it's just maybe something that we should look into. Do you think that taste justifies what you're seeing on the screen? No, no. So that's CO2 gas well, they're in there. It burns them from the inside out. When they come out, they're still conscious. You see a, a pig will actually drown in boiling water after being gassed and stabbed in the throat. Do you know, like, when you think of the victim, do you think it's difficult to be vegan when you think of them? Um, I wouldn't willingly, I guess, want to now put an animal through that, no. Yeah, exactly. Thank, I really appreciate your honesty in this conversation because a lot of people get, like, there's a genuine trigger response and they put a wall up. So you you have it, which is nice. Yeah. That's standard procedure called knocking. They cut the teeth out and they cut the tails off to stop them cannibalizing each other. And just so you're aware, this is organic free range RSPCA standard practice of farming. Okay. Well, thank you. No, thank you. Take one of these, right? Because the hardest thing here, right, is when you think I'm going to go away and think of it, because the whole time you're thinking of it. We're still, you'll still be contributing towards this. We're raising awareness of pigs today, but of course, chickens, lambs, cows, dairy, all these animals, they go through the same procedures. And on that um, card, it will show you the way that the industries exploit all the other species as well. And the longer it takes us to go vegan, the more animals are going to be put into these horror, house, uh, horror like hell houses. Yeah. And uh, and slaughtered for for your taste pleasure, effectively. Yeah. If you're against it's been it, eye opening. Yeah. So Do you know what? Like you'll never unsee it. And I saw footage, and that was it. I was vegan. Because you can never unsee it. Like you said, next time you go to the supermarket, you won't see a packet on a shelf. You'll see struggling animals in abattoirs and gas chambers. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. It's tough, right? Yeah. Thank you for being honest. Have a good day. Oh, maybe she'll see the light. Maybe that'll be good. Yeah.